is the state of Florida has some requirements for you to be a certified contractor. Some of these requirements would be uh, having a having experience in whatever field that you want to work in. Not just any experience, you need to have an experience with someone who's licensed. So for example, if you've been working, let's say, AC or just general contracting with someone who doesn't have a license, in the, the state of Florida, you're not qualified to have that license. Some other qualifications they may ask from you is to pass the, exam, the examinations that they have. For most state licenses, there are two exams. For the general contracting, there are three exams. So if you pass those exams, and if you have the experience, the number of years experience, then to the state of Florida, you're qualified to get the license. Uh, what made me choose the field of construction? To be honest, I didn't choose it, it chose me. My father is a plumber, and in my family, before you become anything, you have to become a plumber first. So to me and all my brothers, alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed us with a father that was able to teach us the trade. And we didn't realize that he was actually giving us a fortune. He taught all of us something that can be our backbone. Alhamdulillah. And this, يعني, to a lot of the brothers who, you know, in, in our Muslim community in general, a lot of us end up working in our family's businesses, which is not bad at all. Alhamdulillah, you have something that you can build on. But the only important thing that I would tell you is if you're going to your family's business, bring something to it. So if you're going to go and take over the family business, try to expand it, try to go to the next step. And, and if you don't want to go there, it's not, it's not bad. Again, how did I get there? I mentioned that I had the experience working for my father. And I also got my associate's degree from Palm Beach State. And to the state of Florida, if you have a college degree, that takes from the amount of years that you have. So if you have an associate's degree, you only need two years experience in whatever field you're trying to go in. If you have a bachelor's degree, you only need one year of experience. So if you have any bachelor's degree and you're trying to get your, your state license for construction, you only need one year of experience. And that can be any bachelor's. But I had my associates, I got my bachelor's degree from the Islamic University of Medina. It had nothing to do with construction. I just went over there, I wanted to study that and I did, alhamdulillah. I came back here, I had my associates, I took the examinations, I had some years of experience to add to that and I was able to get the licenses. Uh, a normal day in the life of a plumber or a general contractor, it just depends. Sometimes, if, if you have an emergency call and people are out of water, you gotta go. You gotta be quick, you know, after Fajr, hit the road, go try to get people water. But if you're, if you're, let's say, like you're renovating and the job is a bit slower, you just have to make sure that everything on the job is ready for the day. You have to make sure everything on the job is ready. Maybe sometimes you're not going to be the one working. A lot of times a general contractor does not work himself, but he has subcontractors working for him. So you have to make sure that your subcontractors are ready to go and the job is going smoothly. An advice I would give to my younger self or for those seeking anything, not just construction, is like some of the sisters mentioned, it's the shadow. And to ask questions. Ask questions. A lot of times we get shy from asking questions. We get shy from asking someone who's already gotten the license. Don't, don't feel shy. And go shadow. Sometimes, you know, for us coming out of high school, we want to make quick money. But sometimes it's not about the money. You want to go and shadow. If you're trying to become a, a general contractor, go see a general contractor work. If you're trying to become a plumber, go see a plumber work. If you're trying to become an AC, we have some uh, AC guys here, mashallah. If you're trying to work with AC, go see some AC guy work and see if this life is for you or not. And if you're, become, if you're trying to become anything you want to become, ask questions about it. Ask questions about it, don't feel shy, and yani, always go the next step. And inshallah, that's, if anyone has any questions about uh, the normal you know, plumbing job or contracting life, you can ask me after, jazakumullah khair, and inshallah, the next step. <laughs> My name is Asmat Saad. I am an elementary teacher. I got into a profession um, by the 
from my mom and my cousins, my aunts, everyone that are teachers. Um, they warned me not to go into it, but I did not listen. <laughs> um, I got my bachelor's in elementary education from FAU, and through the program there we get um, two endorsements. One of those is an ESOL endorsement, which means that I am trained to teach students who speak English as a second language, and we also get a reading endorsement, which allows us to teach students who are emergent readers or who read below grade level. We're trained in phonics, fluency, and oral language. Um, so both of those endorsements you are able to get through your degree if you go to FAU. If you don't get your degree through um, a college, you just did the certification, then you have to go back and take classes for these. Um, for my degree, we do um, we did field experience hours. So you have to complete 90 hours in the classrooms, and then we complete a practicum, which is student teaching, and we work with a university supervisor and then a clinical educator, which is a classroom teacher, and we take over the classroom for an entire semester. We take on a subject at a time, and then eventually um, give that classroom back to the teacher, and then we are evaluated by the supervisor and the clinical educator to see if we are fit or ready to become um, a teacher. Um, there are two exams that you have to take in order to become a certified teacher. One of those is the Florida Teacher Certification Exam, which is a general knowledge exam. And then based on whatever subjects you want to teach, you take the certification for that exam. I did kindergarten through sixth grade, so I took the K-6 um, subject area exam. And then there's the FELE exam, which is the leadership exam that covers um, educational leadership and educational competence. Um, I've been working as a teacher for four years now. I work at a charter school in Boynton Beach. Um, most recently, I earned my clinical educator certification, which means that I can now take in student teachers from any of the Florida universities and mentor them um, myself. Um, advice I would give to anyone who wants to become a teacher, 